Hey everybody, I'm Joshua Oro, the Mustang Prince, and welcome to Mustang Prince Oro Reports. Now, as I previously stated, ever since she won the tryout derby race in her first episode, Princess Sophia's writing and teamwork with Minimus have deeply improved with each episode. Not just with Flying Derby, but also with certain adventures, like when they worked together to save Clover from a greedy magician when he guided a flying coach in hopes to find King Roland during Wassalia or during several secret library missions. And for today's blog, I'm going to look at an episode where Minimus proves his flying skills to his parents. Airing on television on May 6, 2016, this is Best in Air Show. And now, let's get started. In this episode, Princess Sophia's grandmom tells her and her family that Count Barnstorm's Flying Starwing Horse Show is coming to Enchantia. And the stars of the show are Minimus's parents, Jemina and Argus. Unfortunately, while they are happy to meet Sophia, they're not happy about how high or fast their son flies. So, Sophia and Minimus must work together to muster his confidence to perform a bold stunt routine to show his talent as a capable stunt flyer. So, what are my thoughts? Well, to me, this episode is good, but it's not one of my favorites. But now, let's just move on to Mustang Notes. Now, the moral of this episode is, don't let anyone tell you what you can or can't be. And to me, this lesson kind of makes me think about what I sometimes go through, even when it involves my own parents, who also never take me seriously or see me for the grown-up Mustang Prince who I am. Also, this episode takes place sometime after Sophia's first Storykeeper mission in the Secret Library. Plus, this is the last episode where Amber and James wear their flying derby uniforms, and it's also the last episode where Tyler and Myrna voices James. As for the animation, well, I think Toei on CGI animation is still awesome, and as Mustang Prince, I love how the episode centers on stunt horses. Plus, I think their flying maneuvers are absolutely spectacular. And I also think this episode makes a pretty daring underdog story. Also to note, when this episode first aired on TV back in 2016, I saw it on YouTube while I was still recovering from my second cell tumor surgery on my femur, and that was almost a month prior. Plus, while it is very irritating and cliched, I like how the episode focuses on the relationship between a young grown-up horse and his parents who don't take him very seriously. And now, let's move on to the episode's song. I'm a new horse now, sung by Minimus, while voicing his desire to prove himself to his parents. To me, this song gives Minimus very nice character development, and I think due to the music and the rhythm, it kind of feels like a song that Elton John would sing, or maybe just me. And now, let's move on to the characters and the voice actors. Princess Sophia is voiced by Ariel Winter, whom was young Kyrie in the Kingdom Hearts game series, Marina in Jake and the Neverland Pirates, a few of Thumper's sisters in Bambi 2, young Trixie in Speed Racer, Marlene in the complete version of Final Fantasy VII Advent Children, Penny Peterson in DreamWorks Mr. Peabody and Sherman, and Smurf Lily in Smurfs the Lost Village. To me, Sophia is still a kind, compassionate, loyal, and brave princess. And during this episode, Sophia decides to enter Minimus in the Star Wings Amateur Stunt Flyer Contest in order to show his parents what he can do as a capable stunt flyer. Our main character, Minimus, is voiced by Eric Stone Street, whom I remember as the voice of Duke from the Secret Life of Pets movies. Now, I think this would have to be the very first 
and only time where Minimus is a main character. And like I said earlier, his flying talents and confidence have greatly improved after performing several brave deeds over the course of the show. And during this episode, it revealed that most of Minimus's earlier lack of self-esteem when it came to his flying ability was due to his parents' lack of faith in him. You see, sometime after his brother Mazimo left, his parents practiced stunt flying as a hobby. Their stable master, Count Barnstorm, was so impressed with their skills that he started a flying stunt horse show with them as the stars. However, when Minimus tried out for the show, he lost control and crashed into a flagpole. This made Count Barnstorm decide that he wasn't trick horse material and ordered him back to the stable. Jemina supported Barnstorm's decision, telling him that being a stable horse is safer for him. Thankfully, with help from Sophia and Mazimo, Minimus proves himself to his mother. Next, we come to Sophia's grandmom, voiced by the late Florence Henderson, who's best known from the Brady Bunch series. To me, while everyone thinks she's all about prim and proper, she's, in reality, a very kind and loving woman, and she loves having fun. Plus, I think it's very clear that it was from her that her daughter Duchess Matilda inherited cheerfulness. Also, for those who may not remember, Grandmom was first mentioned during the Amulet of Avalor episode when her son, King Roland, told Sophia after her amulet was stolen by Jasper that she told him stories about it when he was a young boy, like how it would guide and watch over its wearer. However, during this episode, which is her debut appearance, Grandmom tries to enter the Star Wing Amateur Stunt Flyer Contest due to her wanting to be a stunt flyer ever since she was a little girl. So, with help from Amber and James, Grandmom gets a horse and a disguise so that Roland doesn't find out. Next is Minimus' older brother, Mazimo, voiced by Dean Norris, whom I remember from the original Total Recall movie, Prom, The Book of Henry, and Scary Stories to Tell in the Dark. Now, the last time Mazimo appeared on the show was in the Secret Library episode, where he was being held prisoner by Prince Roderick while he was traveling to Wild Wing Valley until Sophia, Minimus, and Duchess Matilda saved him and helped him get to the Hidden Valley. During this episode, Mazimo leaves Wild Wing Valley to see their parents' air show, and to me, Mazimo makes a very decent supporting character while urging Minimus to enter the contest despite his parents' wishes. Next, we come to Minimus's parents, Jemina and Argus, voiced by Fritz Spearberg and Mindy Sterling. These two are the stars of Count Barnstorm's Flying Star Wings, and during this episode, they both treat Minimus like a little foal. And after his crash years ago, they thought Minimus would be safer as a stable horse. To me, Argus is the typical hen-pecked husband, and Jemina is like the typical overprotective parent. Also, every time Sophia or Mazimo try to tell them that Minimus is a better flyer than he was back then, much like my parents, they don't listen. And what's even weirder is that they've never even heard of Flying Derby. Thankfully, after Minimus saved Grandmom, Jemina and Argus apologize for their behavior and admit that he's his own horse now. Finally, we have Count Barnstorm, voiced by Marluxia slash Blue himself, Keith Ferguson. This character is the manager of the Flying Star Wings Stunt Flying Horse Show. And to me, Barnstorm and his show are a play on the Ringling Brothers Barnum and Bailey Circus. Gee... I can't believe it's been six years since that classic circus stopped performing. And as I said in my blogs of The Greatest Showman and Animal Crackers, 
I feel really bad that the children of this generation may never see a show like theirs ever again. And now, let's move on to my final words. Overall, Best in Air Show was a pretty good episode, but still not technically one of my favorites. Yes, the animation is excellent, it makes a pretty good underdog story, and it's given a very unique perspective due to the addition of the overprotective parent plot. Minimus made a very sympathetic main character. Sophia and Mazimo were good supporting characters. His parents, while being talented flyers, are pretty annoying due to their over-the-top protective behavior. Plus, I thought the subplot involving Grandmom was pretty good, and it really gives the episode a very unique flair to it. With all this taken into account, we have a pretty good episode. So, I give this episode an 86% out of 100. Well, that's all for now. Be sure to join me next time, where I look at an episode where Vivian has to cope with moving to a new castle, and it features the Wii Sprites again. Mustang Power.